What's up, vetters? Patrick here with Vetted. I have a brand new story you're going to want to hear about. Now, earlier in the week, I reported on a discovery in Antarctica. Then I reported on the Giza pyramids discovery, right? Well, now there's another one. We may have just proven that life did exist on Mars before. At least that's according to NASA. Let's dive in. So here's the story right here. Um, NASA rover discovers largest organic compounds yet found on Mars. This is from The Guardian. Now, there's many articles online about it. So let's dive in. This is the summary. I'm going to read that first. That'll kind of help us understand what we're dealing with here, y'all. Okay. The article describes the discovery of the largest organic compounds ever found on Mars by NASA's Curiosity rover. The compounds found in a 3.7 billion year old rock sample are long chain alkanes. Alkanes, okay, which are crucial uh, constituents of cell membranes and all living organisms on Earth. Huh. Let's keep going. All right. Presence of long chain alkanes. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's okay. Uh, in rock raises new question. Presence of long chain alkanes in rock raises new questions about possible existence of life billions of years ago. Oh, man. Okay, let's do this, y'all. This is so interesting. I just did that video about John Brandenburg. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out, right? It's all to do with Mars. So this is fascinating. Um, all right, here we go. Nar uh, NASA's Curiosity rover has found the largest organic compounds ever seen on Mars, raising tantalizing questions about whether life emerged on the red planet billions of years ago. The compounds were detected in a 3.7 billion year old rock sample collected in Yellowknife Bay, an ancient Martian lake bed that harbored all the necessary ingredients for life in the planet's warmer, wetter past. You know, you could say the same thing about me and my warmer and wetter past. That's a joke. Test on board the rover found that the rock contained long chain alkynes, alkanes, Organic molecules thought to be remnants of fatty acids. The compounds can be made by lifeless chemical reactions, but are crucial constituents of cell membranes and all living organisms on Earth. All living organisms on Earth. Therefore, right, you start, you basically just start saying, well, if it's necessary here, right, and if we find it there, then life probably existed there. This is crazy. The researchers do not claim to have found a biosignature. Okay, this is important. A smoking gun indicating life was once present. But one expert said the material represented the best chance that scientists have had ever had for identifying remains of life on Mars. That's pretty cool. These molecules can be made by chemistry or biology, said Dr. Caroline Friesenet an analytical chemist who led the research at the Atmospheres and Space Observations Laboratory in Guyancourt Court near Paris. If we have long-chain fatty acids on Mars, those could come, and it's only one hypothesis, from membrane degradation of cells present 3.7 billion years ago. That is, wow. That is so long ago, y'all. And that's like, that is just so long. Anyway, the Curiosity rover has trundled. Trundled. I never heard that word before. I'm learning a lot in this. New words. <laughs> the, Curiosity, the Curiosity rover has trundled more than 20 miles, 32 kilometers, across the Gale Crater since landing on Mars in 2012. Six years into the mission, it detected traces of organics in the ancient mudstone, but all were relatively short carbon chain molecules. For the latest study, Friesenet and her colleagues developed a new procedure to test more of the sample drilled from the mudstone. This time, Curiosity detected much larger organics, namely decane, undecane, and dodecane, and... 
I don't even know where to go. And walking cane. I don't know how many canes we got. <clears throat> Work on Earth showed that the Martian rock sample known as Cumberland probably contained carboxylic acids and fatty acids that converted to alkanes in the heating process. Although abiotic processes processes can form these acids they are considered universal products of biochemistry terrestrial and perhaps martian the scientists wrote in proceedings of the national academy of sciences uh, okay let's keep going further analysis of the organics only deepened the intrigue when organisms on earth make fatty acids the compounds tend to contain more even numbers than odd numbers of carbon atoms. This is because some enzymes build fatty acids by adding two carbon atoms at a time. The scientists saw hints of this in the Martian organics too. Cumberland is teasing us, Friesnet said. Friesnet, I don't know if I'm said, whatever. The one in the middle with 12 carbons is more, abund more abundant than the other two. We have the same trend on Mars. But a trend drawn from three molecules is not a real trend. Still, it's very intriguing. The findings suggest at the very least that organic signatures of life can be preserved in Martian rock for billions of years, bolstering hopes that should life ever have emerged on the planet, its remnants might still be found. The pressing question is what to do next. Curiosity is carrying a second sample of the rock that scientists want to analyze for even larger organics. This might boost evidence for more fatty acids containing even numbers of carbons, but that would still not be conclusive. John Eiler, a professor of geology and ge geochemistry at the California Institute of Technology, said analyzing the different isotopes of carbon and hydrogen in the organics could reveal their origins. However, the tests require equipment found in only a handful of labs on Earth. At present, there is no plausible path to making such measurements using an in situ instrument on Mars. That will have to wait for a Mars sample return mission. That's interesting. <coughs> okay. The findings report in this paper present, present the best chance we have seen for identifying the remains of life on Mars, but sealing the deal absolutely requires return of such samples to Earth. I mean, that makes sense, right? What are we talking about, y'all? That's super interesting. And basically the gist, right, if I'm understanding this correctly, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, they found something that on Earth can only be found, right, is found in all life, essentially, right the membranes whatever right so they're finding that in this 3.2 billion year old rock on mars but it's not conclusive but it is very intriguing it's almost like the scientists want to say that but they have they need a little bit more to make that like declaration public and scientific but probably sitting around dinner they're all going yeah yeah there was definitely probably life on mars Right, without a doubt. What did it look like? Who knows? But I mean, guaranteed. But they don't publicly aren't ready to cross that finish line just yet, which I understand, which as it should be. But this is fascinating. We keep finding more and more things, and this is just from a little robot we sent. Imagine we start getting some samples back. Imagine we have humans there on Mars with bases and tools and thing and start digging and do some actual digging like we do here on Earth, right? I guarantee we're going to find life, not just life, but we're going to find different kinds of life, right? We'll probably find bones. I bet there'll be some sort of like archeo archaeological digs on Mars, right? Essentially, this is fascinating to me. And what does it mean? The implications are game-changing right to 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 just guarantee that there is life out there again this channel that's all we talk about um but for me personally a lot of it's speculative yes there's a preponderance of evidence but you know this would be official for the whole world right and this would be very exciting this would fund a lot this would 
that that's the thing you got to look at is the, the the real world right this would fund a lot of research this would fund a lot of um you know studies into either going to mars or other planets or even on earth right because people get excited and they go oh, oh is there more and they also think how do we monetize this right i'm sure that's going to come up at some point but i don't know what do y'all think let me know in the comments we'll see you on the next video vetters remember every day's a gift y'all peace